Aldi does a cheap version of Grave that he likes to. Hello everybody, welcome to uh, the Season 49 Chalice match between Andri and Augmented Beard first round. Uh, Chofs versus Vampires. In the booth with me is Purple Chest and Demi G. Hello! Hello. Hello. Mm. I'm excited to see this one. I think we've got to see uh, Augmented Beard come incredibly aggressively from the off after this ball. Yes. While he's still got half a team left, destabilization. Yeah, it's it's what we'd have wanted. The you know the vampires starting on defense where they would feel happiest and probably where they would choose to be. And the chorfs you know starting in attack, but that purpose defense meaning not quite as many hits as they'd expect. It is a dangerous chorf team, but not. It's not quite as dangerous as it could be, is it, Jim? No, no, it's not, is it? It could be better, but I mean, he's got the core power. That can just win the game by itself, can't it? But yeah, the rest, not not that much support, right? Three mighty blow guards, two guards. Like, it's decent enough, isn't it? And it's, 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 it's fine, yeah. It just, well... It's good, it's not fine. It's, it's a good team. It's a good team. Yeah. It's just it's just not the best. It's not like Chris level. It's not Crucifer level team, but it's still really good. It's still well, nice well capable of winning Chalice. Yeah, nice balls. And nice if the bulls stay alive, they're obviously very, very key. So a lovely, uh, break, a lovely hitty one, strength five, break tackle, mighty blow and tackle, uh, and a nice mobile one, blodge, break tackle and guard. Mm. Um, I think that's a cracking pair, and particularly when you're not having to carry on either, because you've got a strength four dedicated ball carrying gob gob. Mm. We just have this mighty blow, and that's a good hit to get as well, isn't it? That's maybe yeah. a mistake from Andre to leave that blitzable. Ideally, you keep all your hobgoblins tucked away, don't you? And you let them have a hit at the uh, the worst of your chorfs, ideally. Yes, yeah. That's some very noticeable when you play good players. You just never, ever get your hands on the hobbles. But one was offered up instantly there. More survival than Cy Talon's uh, skinks. <laughs> Would have been instantly cast. Yes, I like those skinks. Cool, I mean. Wow. Mm. I, guess, I guess it doesn't. On no. the go for it as well. That's the. Oh, no, it wasn't. <laughs> it's not roasting here. It's, just, it's interesting, isn't it? It's not. It's not. But generally, you, you know, you notice when you play good players that you don't get their hands on them. You don't get your hands on their hobbles. I agree, I mean, I, that Obo was asking to get smacked. Oh! Mm. Cheeky doubler. Like, I'm not saying that he's not a good player, he, you know, it's just it's just that this game, he allowed him to get hit. It's interesting. Well, no, it's interesting, it's like, did he think it was worth giving that up, you know, to, to get what he got that turn? I thought it was shit. I don't mind messing around. Um, <laughs> Yes, I thought he should have, as I said, have one of the chorfs in a position to take the blitzes on the outside, where they tend to come if there isn't a more obvious target. And having a hobgoblin there that could get mighty blow hit was um, was bad. Mm -hmm. Here we go, we are coming hard and fast. <laughs> <laughs> With these vampires. Glorious. No, I won't give in. I'm a little bit surprised. I expected the gate and, and then him coming around. I will defend. Him coming around yeah, here. I thought he might have a go Take this turn, but the, the ball is ass. so deep. Hmm. I mean, he's threatening it. He's put two elves into the backfield now with a thrall there to support them. I mean, I don't mind that. Like, I, I like keeping the ball deep as long as possible until the vampires come. Like, you just got to burn a couple of turns, haven't you? Glorious Kinrod, thank you very much. Welcome back to Team Fantastic. There you go. Uh, that is how you don't get the ads. Fantastic, thank you very much. <laughs> Do be aware that your Bezos free, if you are Amazon Prime, is also available. And uh, delivers about 2p more still. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Happy days. Full power. Doesn't now, to some degree, the vamps have also got the chorfs where they want them. Yes. So if they can yeah, score them the up on this sideline, yeah. 
and then uh, it gives them a chance to hit no cheat their way in. He's after that dirty player. Yeah, yeah. See now this this hit is a lot better from Andrew right Lay, leaving him there because yeah. that's that's out miles away from where he wants Absolutely. from where augmented bid wants Beautiful. to be. Thanks for Bloodlust. Appropriate distraction this time. Yes. In my opinion. Decoy Octopus. I just don't get it. People who play ramps, they just... <laughs> yeah, fuck. They must be so frustrating to play. Yeah, they are. And I've, I oh, haven't played hate... much. I? <laughs> yeah, I hate playing against them. I know that. I haven't really played that much. Either. No, I hate playing against them. They're just as frustrating to play as they are to face. Yeah, both. They they, they, got, they, they fall into the, like, the Kislev... Slan, uh, well, Kis Kis Slan has it too. Kislev, Skaven, I just said, I just <laughs> spoke when I said Slan. Kislev, Skaven, Necro, where I just, like, I hate using them and I hate playing against them as well. Yeah, it's like the Burts and the Bretonians and the Bretts. Shut up, well. I just misspoke when I said Slan. I was trying to say Skaven, okay? <laughs> we can't all speak perfectly, Dimmy G. <laughs> we can, I do teach that in the coaching sessions, but it's £25 an hour. <laughs> Ooh. It's quite handy having a strength uh, for ball carrier in this matchup, isn't it? It is, yeah. It it definitely is, yeah. Really nice. Uh, you know, eventually these these powers are going to take take their toll, right? They're only armor eight vampires, and obviously you've got to think so. I mean, I, I quite like the beard feeling he's in a tough spot is putting the armor eight to the test. Mm. And trying to keep some of his thralls back. I think that's probably right. You have to risk that. Here we go. This is more vampiric. Will it be a vampiric victory? <laughs> oh, wow. Just walk in the front of this so called cage, <laughs> can't you? Yep. Huh? Except we're not, for some no, reason. No, that have... was... Okay. You could have slipped the guard that's in there. A decision. I now guess. we've made it harder. Well, no, he just wants is, to see him to he blitzing? Yeah. No, I wasn't talking about the game, did he? But... Hey. 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 Yeah, so we've picked a tougher route with no recovery oh. afterwards. <laughs> thanks, if we come from the front. <laughs> Only elicited groans from Dimmy and PC, but thank you. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't love that turn ordering. I thought that was... Not good. Um, I, I liked the, way, the fact that we came for the ball. I thought once we'd secured that opening, if we'd come, you know, face uh, towards us as we're facing Jim, then any hit there was a vampire that could have tried to snaffle the ball. Yeah. I yeah. didn't really see the point in knocking it the other way into the dense mass of all the oh. Chaos Dwarf team. So now it's on the floor, but getting it off the might still be quite tricky. Yes. That's a lovely power that one. And, wow, and he's, he's still surviving. Like, you're setting yourself up to take so many hits and everything, aren't you? That's the problem. Yeah. But I guess it's still going to be, like, a nightmare for for the for the Chorfs. Like, you know, the, at the end of the day, like, they've got all these vamps. They're all relevant now, aren't they? All the vamps are relevant. Yep. They're all up in their face. Like, it's... Yep. Every it's, vamp, every turn. Yeah. In every direction. And so we are once again denuding a corner of our cage. Wow, he just, it's there. not breaking armour ever. Nope. <laughs> The vamps are eternal. <laughs> he's powering. Power. Yeah, he's powering them every time and never breaking armor. It's insane. Oh. There's the bloodlust. Is he going to remove himself? That is dirty player as well. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, probably should have got this guy up first, right? So he could have bitten him. <laughs> Bit of a turn ordering mistake there, because you'd obviously you'd rather bite the rookie than the, uh, than the dirty player. Oh, oh, he's pro it. No. I hate pro. Yeah, so I hate you. pro so much. So do I. Let's be against vamps. Oh, he's bloodlusted. Three no. bloodlust. He has to, I guess, because yeah. he just. Thrall in that area is actually a decent player, despite being a thrall. He doesn't like virgin blood, will he? He shouldn't be playing blood ball then, way! <laughs> 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 
Oh my wow. god. <laughs> Do you know what was funny? I was, I was watching, a, I was watching, I was watching a Cobra Kai the other day. And... Uh, they're Some, all definitely virgins. So something much. happened, yeah, something happened fun and it was funny. Oh, that was a good story. Oh yeah, it was the self burn there was a self burn in Cobra Kai. He, he, he did he did the find me a self burn. He said, I don't usually talk to members of the opposite sex except my mother. <laughs> <laughs> he did the find me he did the find me a burn to himself. It was incredible. Ooh. Oh, What turn are we on? We're in turn six. Turn six, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's fine. So they drive? Yeah, look at these two totally out of position. Yeah, other than the time he got sacked, it's been pretty solid. It's... Yeah, he hasn't generated much, has he, augmented beard? Maybe he should be more daring rather than just blocking the I definitely there. feel so, but... but I mean, the thing is, is vampires are just garbage on offense as well, aren't they? I mean, they're, they're, I say they're garbage, they're, they're not, but like, trying to do an eight turn offense with vampires is... Yeah, very difficult. Yeah, it's Tricky. like... Well, to the point where you're probably best off banging it in as soon as you can. Yeah, you? and then having another and go at defense, back on defense, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I did find that I was obviously trying to stall out the house when I was playing vampires. I would often end up with like three men left. <laughs> no, it's not so easy to stall out the eight turn, the eight turn draw. Yeah, it's, it, it's funny that that sack turn kind of cost him really. It, you just end up with two vampires out of the way, and like obviously he got lucky that all the hits he gave up, not punished, but it's still kind of. Hurt him more than the opponent, almost, didn't it? Yeah, so I mean, as you say, he didn't cause a lot of casualties, but he did get an extraordinary number of pals. There were very few chances to sidestep into worrying places. Yeah. Or, you know, blodge and make him decide, are you following me up to try and tag me from my 1 in 36? Or are you not? In which case, you know, I've got increased movement and things. He's just building a wall, isn't he? Best thing to do. Oh, one day. You only need one to get a power dim. Ce joueur a l'air plutôt fier d'être resté debout. Plus dur sera la chute. Pretty comfortable now, isn't it? <clears throat> yeah, like I say, I guess like you got sacked and stuff. Oh, froze the bloodlust. Oh wow, how long have I been muted for? Uh, not long enough. Wow. Wee! <laughs> um, I didn't even know. I'd, I didn't even know I was muted. Maybe I like burped or something. Um, <laughs> yes, Kinroth. Uh, I would. I tend to not cycle elves just because they're so expensive and they die so easily that I tend to not cycle oh, yeah. them on purpose. Of course, I wouldn't be playing for elves, though, because that's mental. <laughs> that was my initial answer. <laughs> I, never, I wonder why the fuck I was playing pro elves instead of wood elves. Or high elves, because at least high elves have got the sound effects, haven't they? Ah! Ha! Play high elves, because they you, go ha. Like, honestly, the animations as well. The sound effects, the animations. Fool. Can he goes. Yeah. Looking real bad for a minute, beard. Like this half was his chance, right? He started off with eleven men. And he's he's got defense, he's got everything, you know, all of his all of his players and all of his like strengths are there in the first half and then he just did nothing. And now he's gonna I mean he, he's managed to not get banged out, but as time goes on, he's just more likely to get banged on his head. 
I say it's just yeah, Bugs just seem to be so much better on defense and Going for it. Quite a tricky one, isn't it? Yeah. Movement six, no frenzy. It's even, I guess, with sidestep. I would definitely not try to score one turn here. <laughs> But I, guess, I mean, he did he did the tights he did the tight line. So I guess maybe you could actually. I mean, it it looks like he's trying to. It's just so tricky with vampires. Yeah, even more it's tricky with vampires. Up with either at least a grab, but ideally some friends. I think he needed that square, didn't he? Hitting people's probably the best. I mean, yeah, he's, he hasn't. No, he's, he's not gone, gone for it. He's yeah. not gone for it. He wasn't going for it, but maybe he should have done right with the tight otherwise. Maybe he should have gone for it with the tight otherwise. I don't even know how you do it with like movement six. It's not easy, but he's got side set which makes it a tiny bit easy. Oh, you need frenzy? No, you don't. Know. You can do with eleven men. You can do with eleven men against the tight elements. It's lots of pushing. <laughs> lots of pushes required. Like, but I guess he'd have three dice maybe with having uh, one player. So like. Maybe it was maybe it was vaguely on, and he's got obviously he's got edge four. Like the thing with the movement six one turn is, you're probably going to fail the fucking dodges anyway, right? Because you can only do it against a tight LOS, which means they've probably backlined unless like you bang them out somehow. So they're probably just backlining, so you're probably just not going to make the dodges anyway. Because if you're moving six, you're probably edge three, and if you're moving if, if you're edge three, you're probably not making the dodges anyway. And then add to the fact you need to make a million fucking pushes. It's super unlikely, but I guess with uh, with match four, maybe he maybe he should have gone. Maybe he was right to go for it then. Who knows? All of these aggressive B setups, which tends to mean you feel you can outstrength or at least dominate the opponent, or don't mind sucking them into the fight. <coughs> oh no, he's dropping the balls back. Okay. He's both the drops. Just going to be well, hey. to hey. this one. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really nice ball, isn't it? Shrimp five. Yep. Both, both really nice. I mean, obviously they, they both want a few more SVPs. Like, okay, he can't because he's got strength, but he he would want a few more to get tackle right, and he he would want to be legend to get guard. Oh, blutz! Oh wow. I don't think Andre's powered on this game, is he? No, I don't think he has. Oh, I think he's he's like he's powered a couple of times, but just not followed and pulled on. Yeah, well, then I, 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 thirty players spam. cutting off, I think, a bit, hasn't it? Yeah, and the thing is, he's only got the one, and he. So if anything happens to it, it like ruins his chalice. Let alone yeah. like. I think um, he's pretty confident, and you know, like obviously yeah. there's the the ramps as well. Like he's there's, there's there was the, there was a few times where he could have got fouled if he did it, and also like he's just another standing guy, isn't it? Defend against vampires, like you, you do need all of your guys stood up and in each other's tackles once to defend against vampires, basically like, like gazing on. Fucking men for touchdowns, well, I've just seen it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, pretty funny. Pretty funny team name. Oh, he's going to potato away. He's going to potato away. Not sure about this blitz. I'm sure I didn't like it. Okay, I'm, I am sure it's terrible, <laughs> but you know, maybe he had some crazy idea that was a good idea. You know, that's the thing. You know, I'm reluctant to say things are terrible. Um, just well, because power the bull, and you could probably try and go deeper into the opponent's half, and maybe even think about you know, tattooing for the the two turn. But it's a big ask, wasn't it? Mm. I mean, removing a ball would make his life a lot easier this round, wouldn't it? Yeah. I mean, you've got to stand on the sideline if you if you if you're yeah, tailing anyway, because this strength five ball can get right can get one away from the sideline. Yeah, so the thing about pulls. So you can't tail or you just got to stay, you know. Haven't you? I think. Oh, 
It looked like he wanted to take off. I think maybe he tails if he gets the power on the bow, yeah, as you say. Still starting at level 1D seemed a bit mad. Did seem a bit crazy to me. Especially as he especially as he gears this guy anyway in the end. Over the strength five, and that shuts down any any possible potato thoughts going through his brain. He left anything to sort of even him to the switch back to the other side. Yeah, yeah. This is the problem, isn't it? This kind of formation is pretty shit because if you what you want is you just want to nudge it over a bit, a bit don't you? So they've got to, they've got to defend over here, but then you've got a bit to swing back the other way, and if you go over yeah. this far then they know they've got to defend here and you can't threaten going back over there. Hey. Finally a removal. Should we like to be watching the stream screen instead of the uh, slightly ahead of it, of course? Shit. He can still punch through here, so like as as much yeah. as that was a good removal, it's not really helping him that much. He can he should still be able to punch through and bang it in. Bang it in. <clears throat> the problem is gonna be um how on Great earth tackle. Yeah, and just how on earth does he like you know, turn over the chops. He didn't really come close, did he? Like, he got the ball off him, to be fair, but he didn't. It did like he had no hope of making it stick, did he? In the first half, that was the problem. No. Oh. But then he did get very short of numbers. But yeah, I, I mean, I still think it's going to be a problem. I just don't think that being a vampire, he can stall out for many turns before he'll yeah. eat all his friends and be stood there alone. Yeah. No, I quite like this. I quite like. Quite like this concerted push. Do I roll this? Yeah. That looks good, doesn't it, actually? Yeah, it looks very solid. I mean, you can't even break tackle. Double dodge. Yeah, yeah. And you have to. You mm. could have break tackle him for a 2D. Not easy, is it? No, yeah, because he had to, yeah, he had to power that bump. So yeah, it looks like Beard is getting the score, and then can he use the vampire bumpiness to get the turnover? It just KOs as well, isn't it? Nothing's really sticking, so. Yeah. Apart from the death of the rookie hobo, yeah, the, just loads of KOs. I would just score here because of the bloodlust. Oh, oh. See, this is why you just score, right? Like, I'm not a vampire expert no. by any means, but you're rolling dice, so. No, he's. No, he's oh no, he's got that fool that gets freed. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, but he had, he had this guy free to move, though. This guy could have just no, moved there. Oh, the player. He's, bought, he's bit the guy he's that he needs to one. run into the end zone. Oh, oh my, my god. god. Oh. He should have stepped forward and bit the other one. Yeah, yep. yeah. Oh, Indeed. man. 100%. And this guy, this guy could have just gone in the end zone. Couldn't, this guy could have just gone to the end zone, and then he could have scored without rolling any dice. Well, wow. minimal dice. I hate that. That was a reroll spunk for no reason, in my opinion. Yeah, I'm punished. In second half, yeah. Mm. With you know. Uh, yeah, over overtime is a is a reasonable possibility. Obviously, you'd rather you'd rather win in normal time from here, wouldn't you? Well, I mean, yeah, but I mean, like having a four rerolls for five turns is pretty great. Yeah. Uh, so that was a bit. 
<laughs> I guess I guess he just wants to <clears throat> chip a ball though, isn't it? It's like, that's the thing, like you chip a ball and it's so good. Yeah. Yeah, so, so that's the thing overall it might be it might even be the right thing to do, right? Because because the potential equity shift if you do get the ball, yeah. That's fair. And it's something we'll never know. Which is good in one way, but shit in others, isn't it? <laughs> Things will ever only be interesting with pros and cons. We'll never know what the right thing is. Except the times we do. But yes, in the main. Yeah. Like, unbelievably rare that something's definitively correct. Correct! It's got Short kick. Ah, oh, he gets the high kick. If he catches this, it's very sad. Oh, he <laughs> it. How's that? Instant, <laughs> instant tilt from Dimmy. <laughs> uh, on the ball centre as well. Not even on the player. In yeah, the yeah. And it's the the lodge one, so very hard to slow down or stop. Well, there's the first pilot. I guess he can protect this one though. Yeah. The risk reward paradigm. Hmm. Yeah, that's the thing, even the things that like all of the good players would think would be terrible, there would still be like a risk reward that some people would find worth it or whatever, wouldn't they? Well, and probably for those people who. I don't mean this in a horrible way, but who genuinely don't know better, it is worth it. Because they need to put their, their noob luck, their noob dice, all into one big pot and make a heap of it and see if they win. Yeah. So the more things they do with a 12% outcome and then next turn a 18% you know, outcome and the turn after a 9% outcome. When you add all those up over the course of a game, that's why playing newer players can be so annoying. It's because they do the things we wouldn't do, but actually, eventually, it probably we should be doing them. Mm -hmm. I tried that tonight, mate. It didn't work. <laughs> Wait. Wait. Well, this isn't going to get the job done, is it? Just blitzing with mighty blow and retreating. He's Trading been, he's mighty been, blow. yeah, he's been more passive than I've seen other vampire coaches. Yeah. Might have done the job in the first half. It's not doing the job right now. Yeah, exactly. Sure. Yeah, that's the thing. He doesn't want this to go overtime. He has to. He has to get aggressive. Very aggressive. Time to step it up. I mean, equally though, Andre probably doesn't want it to go to overtime because if he loses the toss, then it's still. Yeah, but I mean, Andre's got the ball, hasn't he? So he's just got to drive properly. And... Yeah, but got a few. But it's, it's, it's not on a lot of time. No. Having it on the ball is really handy though. Yeah, You've just got to stay with enough things around you that if they hit no cheat three or four of them down, there's still enough cover, really. Yeah, and you've got the ball on like a, essentially a movement nine, edge four yep. bodger, right? More or less. So it's a pretty good player to have the ball on. In fact, one of the problems here might be not scoring too quickly. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. Enough time to get back. I mean, right now there's a huge field tilt to one side and not the other, but as I said, to take it too aggressively, you might be forced in in two. That's a nice stun. Mm. I think he was best where he was then. Yeah, yeah, you can just tuck him in, I guess. Yeah, that's fair. I wonder if it's better just to leave them down. I find that a lot playing as chorfs, it's, and, it's, and dwarves is kind of annoying when people leave people down, so I tend to do it versus people because I've experienced how frustrating it is to play against. All the way around there. Ooh, I, I really liked sidestep to the right, well, to our right there. He doesn't have sidestep though, Jim. He doesn't have sidestep? Why doesn't he have sidestep? What an idiot! <laughs> he took tackle, mighty blow. Yeah. Well, he took pro instead of sidestep, yeah. 
Of course, when I said idiot, I didn't mean augmented beard, I meant the actual vampire. Oh, I thought you were talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't he sidestep with his non-sidestep player, eh? Yeah, same reason I tend to not sprint with wood elf catches. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck's sake. But yeah, here we go, the three really slow players taking out the game for a turn. But they can get back, this isn't a disaster. More like a char char. Yeah. Bit of a disaster, darling. So he's got a... He can, but he can gaze the bull, right, and then surf. Oh no, there's two. No, oh, I didn't see that chalk. I thought he was going to surf. One but... more step further forwards with the ball. He's, he's one step out of range. Oh! No, he's two. Ah! Oh. Oh. Uh, this ball's one out of range, isn't he? And then the ball carrier's two out of range, yeah. What? He didn't even try and gaze the chalk. No, he didn't, did he? That's, uh, you know, maybe the chalice nerves going to him at this point. He definitely should have tried to gaze that chalk. He definitely should have done it. And all the way around, is he? Yeah, he's only got three turns Let's left, so this on. is uh, this is a, this is leaving a little Ooh. bit much to do, isn't it? It really is. Well, that was a bad sidestep. <laughs> yeah, terrible sidestep that one. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Yeah, that's a good good bit of penetration from the hobo. Yeah. And a strength five build in it blitz himself. Lovely. But yeah, this would be very passive flow with it be. Not a fan. Would you not just gaze the back? Like, yeah, you'd step into that square. With the pro one, you would have stepped into that square and gazed that one first, surely. Well... Too oh, no, below I... because he could go in that way, but I wouldn't have gone behind the ball anyway, right? He's only got two turns no. left, and I don't yeah. want to go behind the ball, and he's gone behind the ball with two players. No, I want to take down the strength five ball, and then just make sure I've got as much tagged as possible, and I've got a nice shape of a net to try and catch him next turn when he has to move forwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just play normal blood ball. I would have, like, funnily enough, after criticising the not playing like vampires all game. Um, this was a turn where I think you should just play like a normal team. And by not playing like a normal team, we have not only a gaping hole, it's it's an unbelievably gaping hole, isn't it? Like, it's a... <laughs> not just a gaping hole, an unbelievably <laughs> gaping hole. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this is like a super massive black hole, that's what this is. Super massive. Yeah. He gets the pom here as well, doesn't he? No, he doesn't. Yeah, he'll pop. No, he not in the system. Take Knight to push him away. He could have made it with Knight again. And then he would have had a player one further forward as well. Wouldn't I thought this might be a little bit less comfortable. I guess, like, catching it on the kick was just ridiculous, wasn't it? Yeah, but I think Augmented Beard was too passive. And then too aggressive. <laughs> and then too aggressive, yeah, like putting three players behind the ball on the turn where, you know, you've got in his way and made it tough for him. And then you just like 
lay out the red card, but like these three vamps could have been like here, here, and here, and how much harder is it for them? A lot harder. And now you can't even catch them with anything, I don't think. Yeah, uh, no, you can only mm. tag, can't you? Mm. Yeah, so I mean, I didn't play terribly right, augmented beard, but it was just one of those things where his strategy wasn't going to get him the win, I guess. The individual moves were kind of fine, but it just wasn't wasn't enough. He's got a chance. Does he? A really small one. Oh yeah, yeah. Like he just fails the dodge. Oh. Pros it. <laughs> Might as well, I guess. Like that's the thing, right? The only way you win this is if it goes to overtime, and so keep your reroll for that. Yeah. Yes, yeah, just thirty-five times out of thirty-six, isn't it? To score slightly more because he could blitz. He's not going to blitz. Well, there you go. Easy win for Andre. Pretty comfortable. Like, it seemed pretty comfortable. Like, I, thought, yeah. I didn't think it'd be that comfortable. No, I think I think that was maybe a bit of a shit game from Augmented Beard. <laughs> like a bit shit. Nice, Not uh, terrible, but just... Nice MVP, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, played fine, but it just... fine. Like, I think it was just... The strategy wasn't there, right? Like, he, he had to... When he... When he when he went for the ball, it was too late, and then he went too hard round the back in the first half even, right, which left him open as well. It was, it was weird to play passively and then aggressively, and then it just kind of like, just weird points and times. Has PC gone to bed or has he just been quiet? I think he might be gone. But thank you very much, PC. Anyway, thank you very much, Dimmy. Absolutely glorious. Yeah, cheers, mate. It was decent. It was, uh, I, I always enjoy the tennis games, and... Uh... Uh, pretty good season so far yeah thanks and thanks for watching everyone don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic